but cluck it is another highly requested fashion nova haul now we all love a good bit of fashion nova I love Fashion Nova, I assume you love Fashion Nova and that is why you're watching this haul or you've never actually seen their clothes before. Well I'm here to change that for you all. I have always been incredibly happy with all of the items that I have received and you guys have really loved them so I thought it was time for a part three. Yes. Now I'm aware that I kind of look like What's the name of the girl from Dirty Dancing? I can't remember her is it Fanny or Danny? Or am I thinking of Grease Lightning? I don't know. But you know the girl, she carries the watermelons, Dirty Dancing. Let me know what her name is because I can't remember. But anyway, we are gonna get along with this Fashion Nova haul. Fashion Nova did kindly gift me these items, but you know, keeping it real, letting you guys know, and I mean, Let's just hope I love all the items because I have tried on, I've unpackaged all of them because you know like the box arrived, let me just, there's so much it came in an actual big box, yeah this is going to be quite a big fashion Nova haul, grab a snack, but yeah I've tried on like three of the items and then I haven't tried on the rest of it, so we're obviously going to do a try on haul and I'm obviously going to link everything down below as per usual, but let's get a wiggle on. The first item when I pulled this out, I was like, what have I ordered? And I haven't tried this on yet. So this could look horrific, but I'm sure it won't because it looks really nice on the model. So it does kind of remind me of, you know, when um, you have to do like a fancy dress costume when you're a little kid. So your mum just kind of like sticks you in loo roll or like tissue and just pretends you're a chicken. So theoretically, this is quite Easter themed. But it's this sort of like wide mesh embrosia or inglacia or whatever that's called with long sleeves and then more of this floofing toilet roll at the sleeve bottoms and all across the top. Now you would need to wear this with a little bralette because otherwise it's going to be... I want to steal the phrase nipple to the wind but I know that's Patricia Brights' phrase so I won't steal it but I did just say it so sorry Patricia. It's a good phrase. But yes, it's chick to the wind. I don't even know. You'd be a little bit of a loose goose. Let's just wrap up. I hope when I try this one I'm gonna love it um, because it would look really cute. But I would say that you'd need to wear skinny bottoms underneath. You couldn't go like double flouncy because otherwise I think you'd just look like a blancmange. So I am hopeful that this will still look amazeballs. So this top is either a love it or a hate it. So let me know down below if you love it or you hate it, but I do kind of think it could look quite cool, like with white palazzo trousers, just like, it's very alternative. If you want to stand out and look like a chicken, then well, this is the top for you. Okay, next up is an item that I have tried on and I am absolutely in love with. I love this color. It's like an aqua marine turquoise blue. That was a mouthful. And I know this looks like there's no fabric there, but there kind of isn't. So it's a bikini and it's just got these high rise bottoms. Now these I find really flattering because they like scoop around like your tummy area and like scoop around like the hips. So I feel like they look quite nice on. And I don't know what that bum is called. Is that like a Brazilian? Who knows? And then the top. Now I will say this is a size small or extra small? extra small I would size up because as you can probably see there is not much top here and it's quite like central so if you had boobs that came out to like the side I feel like you maybe would have a nip slip but I'm fine because there's nothing to slip um, so yeah I would size up and then maybe it would give you more leverage to keep the puppies at bay but this bikini is just life. Like, it's so beautiful. The colour is fabulous. It's got, like, lining, so you won't be seeing any nip-nips. And, I mean, I've never actually tried Fashion Nova swimwear, but it's such nice quality. I'm in love. I want this in every single shade that they do. Well, this feels a bit strange, standing in my bedroom with a camera in my bikini. But I'm going to show you guys it anyway, because, I mean... It's such a cute bikini, I have to share the love. And we see that it actually kind of gives a bit of a bust. So I'm quite digging the bikini top shape. 
and then it's just like a sort of high rosy bottom I'm not quite gonna show you guys my butt because I think that might be a step too okay, far so the next item I pulled it out and I was like OMG I am in love and then I just had to try it on and plan when I'm gonna wear it so you guys will see this on my Instagram very soon but I am whole heartedly in love with this so it's like a denim jumpsuit but it's not like a thick denim like it's quite soft denim so it's bendy like it's just comfortable and it's got like the the same neckline as this what do i call that i don't even know i always just think it looks a bit like a pinafore but yeah it's just got some straps then it's got a belted section and then some like culotte style trousers because they don't go fully to the ground they're like a culotte length there is also a belt oh it's stuck to my foot and this belt fully snatches me in okay i am not the person with like big boobs little waist big hips i am not an hourglass shape I am a rectangle. This makes me look like an hourglass because the trousers are like cut that they flare so they give me hips so it actually look like a little bit like shapely in this outfit. I think that's why I love it. And this is just beautiful. Oh, this was $39 and it's a size extra small. OMG, this has to be my favorite piece of the entire haul. It's just so beautiful. And don't you think it's very Lydia Elise Millen? Like, I am getting that vibe. Lydia, I'm trying to steal your style. I don't know if you guys can quite see how much the leg flares out, but stay tuned on my Instagram because I'm planning on wearing this very, very soon. I'm so in love with it. Next things next is this bad boy. Now, I saw this and I just had to buy it. I thought it was really Misha because it's a T-shirt. It's a slogan. It's yellow. You ready? Dolce and banana. Yes, it's like Dolce and Gabbana, but Dolce and a banana. So yes, I just thought this was so darn cute. And I feel like I could even like dress it up with like some little black jazzy pants. You never know. But I just thought summertime, pair of denim shorts, chuck that on, adorable and funny. Fashionable and funny, the best of both worlds. Oh, and this was, $14.99 and it's a size extra. This top is honestly so cute. Dolce and banana. Dolce and... Who needs Gabbana when you've got a banana? I do love a good banana and this is just such an easy throw on top that looks fashionable. In this top, I feel like I should be singing my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard but it's more like my bananas bring all the boys to the... Okay, that's a weird sentence to say. Let's go on with the next item. Oh, I feel like people always ask about shipping with Fashion Nova. I feel like it comes very quickly, like within like a week or two. It's obviously coming from the US, so I think that's pretty darn good. And I have never had a customs fee. Not saying a million percent you don't get custom fees, I'm not sure, but I've never heard of anyone actually getting one. So yes, that little disclaimer out there. Now this would perfectly go with the Dolce and Banana, I need to say Dolce and Gabbana, but it's definitely a banana top. So this is very Easter inspired. It is a denim jacket. Now a yellow denim jacket is incredible at the best of times, but it has ruffles on it. Like, does that not just make it even more Misha and even more adorable? And oh, I just love it. It's in a size small and it's love tree denim. Oh, just look how cute. With like a little summer dress. Just, I mean, the weather right now, as I'm filming this, it is genuinely raining cats and dogs outside. So England, get your shiznits together because I want to be able to go out in light denim wear and not puffer coats anymore. I'm done with the puffer coats. I say that. I haven't actually bought a puffer coat in this haul, so we're all good. Here is the yellow denim on. Now I absolutely love this jacket. I love the relaxed fit, the ruffles. I just wish this denim skirt that I have just randomly in my wardrobe matched. So could someone pretty please link a denim skirt that will match this adorable jacket because these colours are just a little bit too off but imagine if I had like a yellow denim jacket and a yellow matching skirt that would look so cute. The theme behind this Fashion Nova haul was kind of like spring... springy. Springy? Yeah, springy. And then there's a few like evening pieces in there because Fashion Nova just slay the whole game so I just had to pick this bad boy up 
And look at this. I know it kind of looks like a galaxy planet orbiting something, but I absolutely blooming love it. So it is a off the shoulder, very elasticated, so it won't go falling down, bodysuit. Can we see? Bodysuit. Oh, I wonder what this... Oh, okay, I was going to say, because the outside of this fabric feels quite like... Nyeh. You know, you know the fabric that feels... Nyeh. You know what I mean. But I was thinking, oh gosh, is it going to be like that on the inside? But don't worry, it's not. You're not going to have the... Nyeh feeling by your nunny. So we're all good. Um, and yeah, it's just this beautiful midnight blue sparkly fabric. And also, the glitter doesn't come off. Like, I hate when there's something glittery and it literally comes off everywhere. But I mean, this is just so cool. Imagine this with like black palazzo pants. OMG, this would look insane. And this was in a size extra small and $29.99. I just love this. I would even wear this as a swimsuit. I don't know if it would be waterproof, probably not, but I got nothing to hold up, so it's fine if it starts dropping down. So yes, I do have this bodysuit on as though it is a swimsuit, but who says you can't wear it as a swimsuit? I think this is so sassy, I can't. I love the spaceship look, and I absolutely love this bodysuit, and as we can see, I'm like moving about, as you do, in a swimsuit, in your bedroom, one piece thing, and it's not falling down. Okay, this one, I was kind of an idiot. You're probably thinking, Misha, what are you holding up and what have you just hauled? Okay, so as we can see, I love Patricia Bright. Patricia Bright, Patricia Bright. And in her fashion and overhaul, she had these bum pants. Now, I assumed that by bum pants, they meant like my mum's bum pants where they have silicone in them. So I saw this on the website and I was like, I'm gonna get me some bum pants because in case you didn't know, I have no derriere. And then this arrived and I was like, oh. And then the picture has like lift up on it. So I'm obviously not gonna show you these um, without anything on underneath, over the top even. But maybe we'll see like a little before and after. But am I the only one getting Mean Girls, Regina George, when Katie or the whoever the girl is, what's the other names, girl? I'm really not good with names today. Um, you know when she cuts the holes in her top and she walks around with like her bra out. That's what these pants remind me of. So that looks like it would be the front, and you'd like put your legs through. No, no, no. This is the front. And then that's the back. And apparently, this formula technique thingy is supposed to give me a cracking butt. I don't know. It's also got some tummy control on them. I'm just very intrigued. I wish I could show you it on, but um, as in without anything. But we're not going to do that because I don't want to scare you all seeing my flat butt. But we'll try it on with clothes and we'll see how we go. This is in a size small, and yeah, it's just the butt lifter body short. I'm very intrigued. We shall see. If it doesn't give me a Beyonce bum, I want a refund. Okay, so never did I ever think I would put my bum like this on the internet, but it's all for testing butt pants reasons. So I've got them on right now, and I genuinely look like I have a booty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bum in this screen with the pants on to show you guys. And I've also got next door to me my bum without the pants. Just so you guys can see the difference. Okay, now this bad boy is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But I absolutely love it. Be it, I haven't actually tried it on yet. So I could look like a saggy potato. But hopefully I won't. Now, you're probably thinking, has Misha bought a trench coat? Misha has not bought a trench coat. She's bought a trench dress, which sounds horrific, but I have hope that it will look really nice. So, it's another off-the-shoulder piece, and then I obviously I'm going to iron this for the try-on. Well, my mum's going to iron it for the try-on. And it kind of just like sits across your body and then it has a buttons exactly like a mac it has a belt to cinch you in and then it just has like a floaty skirt so it's quite simply my mac coat but with the shoulders chopped off made into a dress 
which I think is pretty darn cool. And this is in a size small. It's even got little detachable straps, so if you wanted to hoist your bad boys up, you could. It was $39.99. And like, I know this is gonna be a love it or hate it item, but I feel like I might love it. So let's all pray that Misha loves it. Hold fire. I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm loving this dress. That is exactly what I am doing. This is such a Marmite item. I feel like some people are gonna love it and some people are gonna hate it, but I am loving on the Marmite. I just think this is so fashionable, so cool. I love clothing that not every person has, and this is just so unique, so appropriate for England, because if it rains, you've got your raincoat on, slash it's a dress. So yes, this is just adorable. What would a haul be without me buying some denim? I'm a denim-aholic. I'm pretty sure I have about 40 pairs of jeans. I'm actually not lying, that is an issue. But these just drew me in. Oh, this is from Dance and Marvel, and it's in a size small. So I hope these fit, because I haven't tried them on. But you're probably just thinking, Misha, why have you just bought another pair of like boyfriend jeans? Wait, wait, wait. Ta-da! It's all in those damn details. So not only have they got a rip with the missing knee, but they've got this sort of pearl and never know what this bit's called molly knows the name of it but i don't know you know like the, the missing circles with the metal bits yeah i've got a bag with that on it um so that'd go quite nicely but yeah it's just got that on the bottom half of the jean and then also it's got it on the pocket which i think is just a really nice added touch so i hope these look nice because they are so darn cool and imagine them with like little black booties because it's got like dark pearls as well as light pearls. So these better look insane. Come on guys, we can do it. Okay, so you're probably quite pleased that you can't see my face anymore. And apologies for the plug, but I just wanted to show you guys these jeans in all their glory. They are just so sassy, I actually love them. Who wouldn't want ripped mom jeans that are comfortable, that fit really nicely, that have pearls on the bottom? They have pearls. These are just so darn cool. Yet again, more denim. And it's some dungarees. Now, I love a good pair of dungarees. I have blue ones. I have embellished ones. I have long ones. Wait, what's the difference? Dungarees and... Is there a different name for long dungarees? I don't know. But these are just some adorable white dungarees because somehow I don't own any. I remember I had some when I was about 12, which were from Gap. And yeah, funny enough, they don't fit me anymore. But these beauties certainly will. So I just think that dungarees are such an underrated item. Like, I think they can look so cute. Stick the Dolce & Banana t-shirt with this. Stick anything with this. And you've just got like a cool and casual and funky outfit. Because they're plain white, you could make this quite boho. You could make this quite classy. Like, every single style in between. So, vital part of my wardrobe. And I cannot wait to wear them. These are in a size small. And they're really beautiful. Okay, so I love these even more than I thought I would. They fit really nicely across here. And normally, I feel like they don't fit perfectly. But they're so nice. And they're such good quality. One thing I probably would change is the fact that these pockets, which are really cute, but I don't know if you guys can see, they're like a baby blue, and I feel like I might either cut them out or tuck them in, just because it won't necessarily then match all of my outfits. Okay, this bad boy, I cannot wait to try on. So, we've seen so much of this sort of, I'd call this like a chainmail knit. I don't know if that's the technical term, but we'll go with it. Maybe does it say on the label? No, it doesn't. So it's like a metallic thick knit and it's a little crop top and we will have seen these everywhere. They look really nice just chucked over a bikini or maybe for like a dinner look, you know. But to amp it up a notch, we have got a matching maxi skirt. Imagine this in Ibiza. Me and Chloe will be going back to Ibiza come like September time. So you guys better get excited, even though that is literally in like six months, but me and Chloe are already very excited and planning everything. 
But yes, we haven't actually booked a hotel or flights or anything because, you know, we're lastminute.com. But we know what we're doing each day <laughs> and what we're wearing. So it's just this see-through mesh chainmail skirt. And I think it's quite high-waisted. And then it's got like the ties at the side so you can make it bigger or smaller. And then it's also got slits at the side. So this is just so cool. I think you could wear this to like a beach club on holiday or if you wore like little shorts underneath you could make it dinner appropriate, stick some heels with it. Just the quality, the colour and everything about this is so beautiful and the set was $44.99 and it is in a size extra small but I feel like this kind of fits more sizes because it's like stretchy like it's a loose fit it's not supposed to be like snug omg am i aerial i feel like a mermaid i feel like my little mermaid and i love it i've just put it on with some nude pants so don't worry you can't see anything and i've got nipple covers on so ibiza 2k18 which i'm not cool enough to say that phrase but come at me the Little Mermaid is ready to party. Oh, also it's maxi. Woohoo. Okay, second to last item. Now again, this needs an iron. But this is another summery piece that I just love to have in my wardrobe because it's easy, it's go-to, and it's a little co -ord. I'm all about the co life. I have a little off-the-shoulder crop top, and this has got, like, actual armholes, if you see what I mean. So it's even more likely to stay up, which is brilliant, because I don't like those ones necessarily, but you have to go like that, and then, like, the whole top moves. But, yeah, this is... The whole set was $39.99, which I think is a very good price for trousers and a top. It's in a size extra small. It's just so cute. It's got double layers, and, I mean, what's not to love? And then the pants are basically the same thing but really wide really like loose and flowy and very like holiday i mean this outfit co-ord just will look so classy but also you could put the top with a different bottom and the bottom with a different top that's what i love about these sort of things just adorable i know they also have a baby pink version which i do have my eye on i will say omg i am so in love with this little co-ord how like boho and chic do i look imagine it with like loads of chokers and maybe some wedges also can we take a second to appreciate you can't see my nipples you there watching this you can't see anything if someone was in this room right now they couldn't see anything so thank you fashion nova for this beautiful set because i am in love with it to note this is a little bit big on me but i actually appreciate that because i feel like it's supposed to be worn like that but because i don't have like the hourglass shape as i always say I prefer to pull it down, so I'm actually digging the fact. Okay, last item. Now, Mum's actually worn this item, so I had to leave another yellow item till last. And these are some beautiful palazzo trousers in, like, I'd say a mustard yellow. So they've just got a little hook around the front. And then look at them. Oh, they look so expensive. They are such beautiful fabric. I love the colour, the fit is beautiful, mum absolutely loves them and she's already planning when she's going to wear them again and I can't say I blame her. So yes, these are so beautiful, I can't tell you um, how much they are, apologies, because mum obviously cut out the label but I will link absolutely everything down below. Now we need to try not to crease them because mum ironed them and she will kill me. Sassy yellow pants come at me. This colour this fabric these pants sorry you can't see all of them but we know the struggle these are just so lush and so classy also i don't know if we can see but they've got pockets and they're real pockets and then they've also got like this sort of do up so it's like a button and then a hook which makes it look very smart and sophisticated okay so that is absolutely everything that i got from fashion nova i hope you guys have enjoyed this springy summer haul let me know if you guys would like another fashion nova maybe link me some items down below that you'd like me to test out if you think i'm right up my street i do love it when people send me messages with like links to items like oh my gosh this is so misha i'm like i love it but please don't because i will have no money yeah Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see all you chickens. But yeah, anyway, toodle pip. Love you lots. Bye bye. Mwah.